Smock Alley Theatre of 1662 is probably one of the most significant theatre buildings in these islands, if not beyond. It was in 1660 or thereabouts that a number of theatres were built in England, in London, and indeed here at Smock Alley. And it is essentially this building, Smock Alley Theatre, that is the only one that has survived pretty much in its original condition. To look at Smock Alley from the front out on the River Liffey here, you wouldn't be blamed for thinking that we were a church that we converted into a performance space. There was a church called Michael and John's, or Mick and Jack's as it was known locally here, but they actually bought the building from Smock Alley Theatre. It was the first theatre outside of England to get the patent of Theatre Royal. It meant that you could perform a much greater range of plays if you had that all the great Shakespeare plays, all the great restoration comedies, you could perform them all with that licence. We decided eight or nine years ago that we were going to reinstate for Dublin, for Ireland and indeed the world, Smock Alley Theatre 1662. It was then that the National Lottery uh, rode in and suddenly the whole idea of this project coming back to life again started to grow legs. In May 2012 we managed to open the doors and Smock Alley Theatre once again is alive and breathing and is in huge demand by the citizens of Dublin people from all over the country, and of course, people knocking on our door from around the world wanting to hear the Smock Alley story. We have a huge number of events here. It's not just theatre that we do. We have uh, corporate events, uh, we do weddings, uh, we have art exhibitions. We've recently had the Dublin Book Festival, we had the Fringe Festival, the Dublin Theatre Festival, and right now we actually have the Dublin Flamenco Festival in for the second time. It's proven to be very popular, a huge number of events for it, not necessarily just flamenco-based, but also different types of events in and around flamenco music, flamenco dance, the culture, and a, a number of different events. So, fingers crossed, the 70 or 80,000 people who've already bought tickets for shows here in Smock Alley, fingers crossed that they'll keep coming to our door. Not only are they coming to, you know, the oldest theatre in these islands, they're also coming to the newest.